there, and welcome to Factorio, episode 11! So today, I did say, last episode, I said we were going to build some kind of defences because we have a radar building running, and I'm a little bit edgy that maybe these guys will start to attack us. I mean, they're quite a way away, but the radar's doing its job. So, I mean, the radar's seen this sort of much so far. So, I want to up our radar capabilities, and if we're going to up our radar capabilities, I want to make sure those guys aren't going to attack us. So, plan number one. A defensive line across here. Plan number two. A defensive line there and defensive line maybe around here somewhere. I don't know. We have to look into the defensive lines. But I know we have the main one going to be here. Because where most of our stuff is. Our second line is going to be over here. Just to stop and get to our research building and stuff like that. But for now, our focus is going to be the top line here. Now, <clears throat> I figured rather than actually building one massive defensive chain, which was my original idea. One big conveyor belt going around the entire map. Uh, we're going to have a problem when we hit the end, we have to loop it around. So I decided, rather than that, three smaller sections which will work independently. Will work quite nicely for us. So, that probably doesn't make sense much, but I'm going to basically have a little furnace coming off, making iron plates. Those are dedicated to uh, ammunition and that'll go first. So, to do that, we need a basic assembler, because we need a very basic one. So I don't want to waste my uh, my big three tier one, uh, my two tier one here. So let's go grab some metal plates and all the pieces we're going to be needing. So plates, 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 plates. Actually, we need some cogs as well, so give me some cogs as well. There we go. And I'm going to need some copper plates as well for this, I believe. So I'll grab some copper. And that should be all we need to get started. So let's go back over here, past all of our current iron and coal production. And we'll start up with a, a simple, single assembler for now. Uh, are we getting any research ongoing? We don't. Okay, can I have... Uh, explosives, not quite yet. Lasers. A laser turret, though. Ooh. Second tier defensive structure, they need electricity but no ammunition. Ooh. Laser turrets. Laser turrets would be so tasty for this, but we don't even need bullets. I'm probably very happy with bullets, actually, for now. Um, because the power probably have sort of a high power demand anyway. So I'm going to go not do with lasers for now. I'm going to skip the laser stage for now. Construction robotics could be nice. Uh, insert a stack arm. That makes them carry twice as much in per lift. That could be useful. Fluid handling. We're getting on to oil processing. Ooh. And plastics. And military two, which gives us piercing rounds. Okay, I'm going to go for better weapons. Because if we are going to do that, we're going to go for better weapons at that point. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is have a convey belt running down here. It's basically continuous the ammunition. And the uh, guns will take the, what they need. So, to do that, we need to actually produce the weapons. I'm going to produce some sort of up here. I'm going to make sure there's a certain amount of ore that makes it up to this defensive line. I'm going to do it here, where it's sort of the narrow point for us. Well, that went fast. <laughs> what are these types of bullets in? Uh, we have bullet damage increase, bullet speed. Oh, look up there, so there. Uh, shotgun shells and shotgun shells and the gun turret damage upgrade. Well, we're doing gun turrets, so gun turret damage upgrade. Right, so defensive line. So I think if we manufacture our stuff over this side, then we're not interfering with our main production. We can pull it off as a conveyor belt of ore and stuff like that. That would be pretty decent. So if I were to, let's get the conveyor belts in first. Uh, the first conveyor belt is going to pull off from here, and we just uh, insert a, uh, a splitter to grab half of the material. So I'm going to grab it from here, and send it up to here, and then bring it up to there will do. Then we're going to run across uh, there. Yeah. Then we're going to turn 90 degrees that way, and run this way. All the way over to where I kind of want my manufacturing to be. That's probably not where I wanted to be, actually. Um, damn it. All right, so I'm going to put I'll probably have the manufacturing somewhere around here, to tell you the truth. Um, okay, I really should plan this out better. <laughs> I really, really, really should plan this out better. Put them back a minute. Give me the this guy. Okay, this is going to go down somewhere. And it needs, to, it needs to have metal. So to have metal for that, it needs to be in a smelter. And I'm going to have an electric smelter to do the job. Uh, steel furnace, electric furnace. I need high grade steel, which I do have in stock. I have other things I don't have in stock, and I probably can't make them myself in the suit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to need a stone furnace, which in itself is not bad, but it does mean I need to get some other resources like coal and stuff nearby, which again, in itself, not bad, but I kind of wanted to get away from coal burning furnaces and stuff. Alright, so we're going to need a couple of mines. Couple of mines. Gonna need to get some ore. I should probably need two ore. Anyway, not a problem. Give me a power cable from now to there. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna keep upgrading the damage on this thing. When it happens, when it happens. 
Uh, well, give me a power cable to there. That'll do me nicely. Can I have one more conveyable here? I'm going to need it to be a bit later anyway. Right, so bring it all out. <clears throat> all will come up here and become and be smelted, so that doesn't need to be as long as that. So just dismantle this piece here, because that top cable, that line is still going to be needed, so that isn't wrong. It's just me making a little teeny, tiny mistake just there. There we go. Uh, that will do just there. And we can have an ore smelter. We'll be sat there. With our, oh, I'm going to insert. Give me a second. Inserters. I'm going to need a few of those. So give me a couple of inserters. One inserter will be there. I might as well pick it from here. Don't have to worry about it being out of alignment. So that actually isn't needed at all. Uh, I'm going to put another one here. It's out of power range. I do need to make some more power cables. Maybe some more power cables, please. Thank you. Uh, it's going to go there. You know what? That power cable can be moved. I need another one anyway. Because I need to put a coal mine up here for. Uh, Coal re base reasons. Does that sound right, right? Coal base reasons? Nah, fine. Uh, it's probably okay. Give me the coal mine. Uh, it can actually just sit there because it doesn't really need to worry about uh, producing a large amount of coal. It just needs to produce just enough of that arm to work with. So we can put that there. And it should start producing and it should pick them up. It hasn't picked them up. So get rid of that. And then put it down again. Put it down again. There. And hopefully you'll pick it up this time around. There you go. Perfect. Okay, you're now smelting me uh, metal, which is great. What I need. And then I need a, I need an arm to take the metal, the ore out of there. And then so we have steel. Steel's going to turn to bullets. So put that uh, put it side by side, couldn't I? Uh, but what my thoughts? My my manufacturing down here. So this is going to be steel plates for now. So steel plates will go. Well, because I've got all the all the guys, I'll put that side there, and then give me, give me. You go ahead, go back in there. Thank you. But these guys here, boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then all that metal will come down here, all the way down, 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 down. Which I know I've got to put power cable in just yet, but I'm gonna get down here, which is where I'm gonna sort of have the ammunition coming in. Uh, I could actually start. Oh, 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 stop doing that, guys. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. I haven't finished yet. I didn't even move yet. So, we'll have the ammunition run down here. This will be a line of ammunition going this way. We'll probably make it best to make it a loop. So, actually, this is in the wrong place. So, give me one second, guys. Get rid of... Because that wants to be a little bit higher up. Oop. Get rid of that. I'm just one away from that one. Right. So, you... Can I ride this? Not in time. Damn it. I was hoping to cheat my way out of uh, moving and just actually have it uninstall for me. Ah. Right. So I probably could remove all these in a moment, but I'm going to do the little section I'm in now. There we go, that'll do it for now. Right, so what I'm going to do is make metal plates. The metal plates get turned into ammunition in the assembler, which will be... You know, since you're not doing anything other than that, can I just remove these and put the assembler right there? Can you not do that when I'm working on it? I'm just going to keep working on that actually for now. And get rid of that, good. And then put the assembler there. Right. And then we put the that one, can take the bullets out of there. And I know we're going to put a power cable down. Give me a second. Power cable. No, that's not power cable. That's a mine. Power cable. Power cable can actually just go there, couldn't it? Right. There. Now, if I said to you, make, 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 make ammunition. We have regular magazines and we have piercing rounds. Now, piercing rounds require extra stuff which we don't have. So, regular rounds it will be. And you should be able to pull those pieces out, correct? There you go. Okay, so that's bullets for my gun. In fact, while we're here, can I actually make myself a better gun? A machine gun? Well, I don't mind if I do. Thank you. Uh, I just figured I could do a better gun personally, just in case those things do attack me. There we go. Now, I want to make sure the convey belt goes up and for up and down here in a little loop. So I'm going to need a lot of convey belts that I could make myself. But I have a machine over here that, make that actually makes convey belts. So it's kind of weird for me to make my own at this point. Grab them. Oh, I love the conveyor belts. Oh, I love the convey belt. Actually, they're pretty much out of the other stuff. The, the uh, drones for some reason. Let's we'll check on our manufacturing process there. Anyway, back over here to our big production line. I want to make our defensive lines are below this copper, but uh, level this water. So give me a convey belt and we'll start placing these here. So I want to make sure they kind of loop around right here. So this is where we're at, where we actually are. Running, 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 running. It's a long conveyor belt, but it's going to be one of those conveyor belts that's kind of needed for what we're doing. 
to there, and then down, and then down. I want to have a single gap between them, so I want to have it be a loop. Um, so I do want it to be a loop, but I want a gap for anything we need to put into it. Uh, so that will do fine, yep. Yeah. I may need to end up moving this, and it's going to really make me pay for it when it gets around to that time, isn't it? Yep. Uh, play safe and just get to do its job. Boom, boom. There we go. Nice little loop convey belt there. Uh, of which these convey belts here will go up to. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll just have a standard inserter. Can we have a rapid inserter actually? Because I, I could do it just in case we're using a lot of them. Uh, fast inserter. There we go. A fast inserter to get these onto the uh, onto the belt as fast as they can be. There we go. Yes, you need power because I did forget about that, didn't I? Uh, ooh, look at that, just reaches. For now, we need, there we go. So they're now going on the convey belt at reasonable levels. These need to be dug up at a level that I just have to do them at some point. I'll leave them there for now. And because the convey belts are all in place, that is perfect. I could probably have more of these if we need them in the long run. But we're going to need guns. Now, we have turrets. What's that? Ooh, combine that. Look at them. We have turrets. We can make turrets. I need more than three. We're going to need. More steel plates. Okay, steel plates. Out. Steel plates. Hmm. Oh, that's a big supply of steel plates right here. Thank you. Uh, these are. Oh, look, they're having a bit of trouble getting through the backlog. Well, I'll help you out with the backlog. Don't worry about that. Dun -dun 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 I'm saying here just in case I need to get some co uh, copper as well. Dun -dun 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 <laughs> and stop. And I can make two more of those. And now it's copper. Look at that, eh? What a guess. What a guess. Stop that, and is it, we can make another one, and it's steel plates again. So it's basically constantly driving between needing steel plates and needing copper plates right now. I'm making a few of these guys, but I'm, I know it's defensive line, and lines require more than you'd think, actually. And that will do me for now. Uh, can I make another one? I can, good. I shouldn't need that many, but I'm sort of playing safe on the amount I do need. So run up to here, and because it's a long line, but there's going to be a longer line in other places as well, so... So first of all, let's place one of these guys right on the very edge, just there. I'll put it there because I want to make sure it's got access to the turrets. And we'll run all the way over here, which I don't think is going to be an issue because they're over that way. But it's a defensive line. You don't do defensive lines halfway, do you? One there. Now I'm thinking we can place them every so often, but for now, just sort of we got we have a few of these guys. So let's just place them down where they're going to be. How many do we actually have? Four, five, and six. So we have six in total. So place. The ones on the end should be relatively close to each other because uh, there's going to be potentially good things there. So, move one. A bit further away. Yeah, a bit further away. Then about there. Then about there. And then these will be a, bit, a little bit further away than the other ones will be because they are just that little bit sort of less likely to be attacked at these points because that's mostly where they're going to come from. Good. Right, next up, we need to get power cables to these areas because they need to have power. For the inserters, the power cable will go there, but I need to put it in. I need to make more power cables. Thank you. I should have just didn't make them all, didn't I? Uh, power cable there, power cable... Oops, I'm too far away. There, power cable... So I'll put the power cable inside the actual uh, convey box. It kind of makes sense as a place to put it. It doesn't uh, get in the way of any future development, and it doesn't get in the way of actual placing stuff on the top row, which is actually a good combination. To there, and then the last one just goes on the inside or the outside. Uh, put on the outside. Don't worry, anybody. We need some more inserters, though. Uh, I need inserters, so I need metal plates. Who would have thought metal plates could be the issue again? <laughs> Give me some metal plates, please. Metal plates, please. Thank you very much. Right, so I need... Just give me a few of those, it'll be fine. Okay, so you... Can go there, and the first time these guys go by, you'll load up the gun. Good, and you can go there, and you can go there. Make sure they stay inside the power range, otherwise they're kind of useless. And then you can go there, and the oh, I'm out of them. Give me one more, please. Thank you. And the last one goes there. And there we go. So they should all now be filling up with ammunition, and they should be very good. I've got a lot of ammunition on the conveyor already, but I'm just using the little bits of ore, the little bit of coal just to keep this sort of one machine running. So eventually, the ideally, ideal being, eventually this machine... Ooh, actually, I've got loads of coal in my inventory, haven't I? Here's a crap ton of coal, and here's a crap ton of ore. Just make what you can. Uh, are you actually running, Sean? Are you waiting for anything? 
Yeah, okay, you actually do wait for iron plates. So I could actually get an extra one in there if we wanted to. Not saying we want to just yet. <clears throat> but if we get to the point where we need it, but I don't think we're going to need it because these guys are not going to be used very often. It's just going to have loads of bullets on this massive, massive, massive conveyor belt. Which I am happy about because it means that these guys are actually going to be fully stocked at all times. Here we go. Let's get on the conveyor belt so these guys can start loading up. Because uh, you have two so far, you have two, you have none. You're about to get some, I believe. Although it could be a while because if they take a while to load up. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so okay, it's going to be a little while before you get your first round. But uh, there you go, you actually are entirely, we have a defensive line on the north. The north of the base is now defended. Good. Right. So we're going to do the same over on this side, which is a longer, longest stretch, is it longer? Looks to be about the same length, actually, as we just did. Then we have we def the defensive line here, and then maybe in the future we can just do a little bit down there, and then over here, there'll be a little bit over here. Way, 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 there. But that's for later. For now, we just need to defend the area. Now, I don't think we have any problem in the south, because there's actually no enemies in the south here. So I think the south can be left alone, but I know there's enemies here and enemies there. So we do need a defensive line here. Um, and this is one that's going to have to move with time. So I probably won't make it a loop like that one, because it'd be harder to move a loop in the long run. Uh, make it probably just a straight line and make it fill up. Which is probably the better way of doing it, actually. Uh, but I didn't, this one loop, I want it to be cons constantly spinning just to uh, make sure. I was saying that I could just very simply just remove the loop from there entirely. And it'd be dead end, and then that, that gun would be full up all times. That is not entirely a bad idea. Um, and there's enough bullets on that conveyor belt, isn't there? Okay, it's going to do that. Just breaking that now, breaking that down, breaking that. I will remove these excess conveyor belts uh, between the episodes just to make sure it's all done. Uh, because of the change, we don't actually need that guy anymore. Because we could just drop... Actually, we never need that guy there. Just drop that on there and it'll work just as well as it ever did before. Well, there we go. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, between episodes, I will remove these excess conveyor belts just for convenience and make sure the place is much nicer to work with. Um, but now we're going to run over this side and we Look at this conveyor belt system. How many conveyor belts do we have? We actually don't have that many conveyor belts. Okay, uh, I am going to grab conveyor belts from here and just make sure we have maximum conveyor belts in our inventory. Why are we not making much of these, by the way? It's not metal or cogs. Circuits are coming through at a decent rate, but the circuits are actually the ones that being... Oh, it's copper again. The copper ore is actually coming through quite slowly compared to what we want. So we're using a lot more copper. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, we've got a lot more copper going up here than we actually need. So how about we take this splitter we put another splitter in place. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a second splitter in here. Second splitter. And then we'll sort of send only a third of the material goes to the north. Uh, splitter, 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 splitter. Splitters would be there. I need metal plates. <sighs> Always running for plates. Grab. Thank you. Metal plates, uh, just a normal splitter, I don't need the super fast splitter for this. It's not a quick routine. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and splitters. Oh, I actually had splitters, damn it. All right, you go that way. So metal plates come through, and then we'll just put a conveyor belt going, no, down. There you go. That'll get the, so basically only a third of the copper plates go to the top now, which is fine. It just means more will end up on this conveyor belt. Which is great for what is needed. Also, these guys are actually only really using it when we need to make red, uh, red convey uh, stuff anyway. So that's not a problem for us. And look at our uh, guys are going that mad. Uh, so it's only greens that actually need these. So we're making a lot more of these now as well, which is actually really good for the uh, for the process. Look at that. Look at a lot more convey, a lot more copper coming up here now. They're alternating sides now. Good. Good, 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 good. I don't think we need any more production if we just literally need to allow them to, to use it. I mean, it could actually change it around, so the copper comes this side and just make it one conveyor belt, but I, like, I kind of like having this extra conveyor belt in case we need to deal with it in the future. Right, conveyor belts. I have a stack of conveyor belts, just not quite enough conveyor belts. And I'm going to need inserters anyway, so I'm just going to nab all of your inserters as I can run down here. Thank you. Right, so just inserters are very useful, and I could use some anyway. So I'm going to put a single conveyor belt all the way down here. Uh, maybe not all the way down here. But uh, down far enough to... Damn, it's going to be all the way, isn't it? Ah, okay. Well, look, the further out I go, the more I need to worry about stuff. So for now, I'm just going to put a defensive line in place. Uh, so downwards. 
We'll move it out to about here because I want to make sure we've got future access to stuff without having to deal with anything big and bad. So here is where our defensive line is going to be. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Tree. Ah! Damn tree, push me to one side to make a Vaybot not wonky. Don't you just hate it when you come Vaybot goes wonky? Down to here. Then there's a tree in the way. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Make the tree go away. Bum ba dum ba da. There we go. And then down to there. That'll do. No. I said that will do. We don't need to be any more in there. That's a nice long line of stuff there. All right. So that's where our new defensive line is going to be. We'll build that that defensive line in the next episode. Uh, we'll probably go and aggravate those guys at some point, but I just want to make sure we're going to be safe on this. And we go. So the, the other line will be pretty much like this one, but probably not quite as close on the guns. I'm not actually sure what their ranges are like. Is there a way to see their ranges? Click on them. Clicking on them. No, it doesn't give you a range idea. But I can assume they've got about that much range, so I'll probably be able to expand them. Anything attacking is probably going to go for a gun anyway. So we can do that. I do need to get iron ore out this way, or at least iron plates out this way. Um, I don't really want to take them away from anything that's got them. So uh, we have iron down here. We could grab the iron ore. What's that? Is it just trees and bushes? Yeah, it's just trees and bushes. Yeah, I can get the iron ore from here and send it up. Um, we'll need some defences around that area at that time. Uh, so maybe we could switch to convey about the other way around. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's just switch it around. Can we do it this way? Uh, that way? Boom. We can. Good. Turn them all around. Because I'm going to start the manufacturing at the bottom. It kind of makes sense. We go that way. We've got copper at the top, which we don't need. Not for this, anyway. And we're over to the bottom. Uh, this way. Okay, I'm going to now start looking at stuff like the ultimate rail and flight and insert a bonus. Insert a bonus could be useful. Okay, so this means the dirt can carry twice as much stuff when it picks stuff up. So yeah, and we're thinking we'll start down here. We'll actually extend things. We'll have a little iron ore mine just here. Because the other iron ore mine is way over there. And it's a bit out of the way. Make plates just for that and put them a gun around just to defend it automatically. And then send the rest of this thing. This may have been moved over a bit just to come in line with this iron ore. But uh, that's what it's doing. If you think I'm making any mistakes with my layout, with my defensive layout, let me know. Um... People did say that having radar dish would aggravate the bad guys on the map. So I'm just playing safe before I build up my radar dish to be even bigger than the one I've got right now. I'm going to build quite a few of them. So I'm just playing safe with my uh, defences. Uh, we are running on classic mode, I think it's called, or old school mode or something like that, which is the one where they don't attack unless you aggravate them. But uh, I'm just going to make the assumption I'm probably going to aggravate them, especially once I get myself a car to drive around and sort of in and entice them to come down. But I know I need to get alien artifacts in the future, so it'd be nice to go there, antagonate them, bring them back to my defensive line, and, you know. Get the idea. Anyway, guys, let me know if you think I'm doing anything wrong in my actual base design. Because uh, it would be useful to be able to know if that is the case. But that's a fire. Fire 0 100. Okay. Oh, it's resistance. <laughs> I wonder what I'm about. So, anyway, guys, until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.